Today on our 2009 Dodge Ram 1500 Series Quad Cab Pickup, we're going to be test fitting the Hollywood Racks 4 Bike Rack. That's HR8500 is the part number. Uh, this is a tilting rack and it's also divine, designed for one and a quarter as well as two inch hitches. We've got a two inch hitch here today. So we're going to start by feeding the shank of the bike rack into the receiver, receiver tube of the hitch until those pinholes are aligned. Once they are, you can begin threading in your anti-rattle bolt by hand. And once that's as far as you can get it by hand, you can finish that off with your socket wrench. Once that feels good and tight, give it a shake to ensure it's secure within the hitch, which it is. And then you can put your clip in place on the other side of that bolt. Now we're going to check some measurements. Starting with ground clearance. As you can see, it looks like this bike rack offers about 17 inches of ground clearance to right here. Now we're going to check the closest part of the bike rack to the rear of the vehicle which is just about two inches from the rear bumper to this point right here. Overall length added to the rear of the vehicle is going to be just about nine or a little more than nine inches right about there. Now we're ready to raise our cradle arms. By removing this clip and pin, it will allow you to raise those arms Once the arms are raised, you're going to replace that pin as well as the clip. Now we've added some distance to the rear of our vehicle, or some length I should say. Once again, we are looking about right about 36 inches to this point right here. Now we're going to check the tilt-away feature by pulling this clip and removing the pin. That will allow you to tilt the bike rack away from the rear of the vehicle. Now let's check for clearance. As you can see here, you cannot fully open the tailgate, but you can open it enough to access any cargo you may have in the rear of the vehicle. Now I'm going to put the center mast back into its upright position and once again replace that pin as well as the clip. Now this rack does have one more feature which is the thumb screw here. I'm unscrewing it just to show you that there's still a little bit of, little bit of play left in that center mast and once you tighten that thumb screw, that will help to remove much of that play. Now we're ready to undo our straps. And now we'll load our bike. You want to make sure that the cradle is touching your frame in all the appropriate places. And then you're going to fasten your strap, starting with the anti-sway strap, and then moving on to your frame straps. And there you go. That concludes our test fit for the Hollywood Racks 4 bike rack with tilt away feature. That's part number HR8500. And that was done on our 2009 Dodge Ram 1500 series quad cab pickup. Now let's see how that same bike rack did on our test course. Now let's go out to our test course. 
This is the slalom course, which will show side-to-side -side actions such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. These are alternating speed bumps, which will show twisting action, such as hitting a curb, a pothole, road debris, or uneven pavement. These are solid speed bumps, which will demonstrate up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving into or out of your driveway.